Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be making a simple finance tracker from scratch in Notion, so let's get started. We'll be starting from scratch today, so let's start a blank page in Notion and call it Finance Tracker. To stay on theme, we'll give it a cute money icon and also a nice cover photo. Then we'll turn on small text and full width for the page so we have more room to work with. We'll start by creating all our databases and then pulling them all together at the end. The first database we'll be making is for our income and expenses. For this table, we're adding columns for the type of expense, transaction date, and income amount. And we'll name this table view income. Then we'll configure the filter to only show records, that's the income type, and sort the date in descending order. Now let's make another view for expenses. To make it easier, we'll just duplicate the income view and rename it expenses. And also duplicate the income column and rename it expense amount. In the expense view, we'll hide the income amount column. And in the income view, we'll hide the expense amount column. I'll just quickly put in some examples here. Moving on onto the expense view, we'll make sure the filter for type is on expense. And I'll also just quickly add an expense example as well. Next, we'll add a table to categorize our expenses. We'll name this table categories. And I'll quickly add in some categories which I found useful to track. And the tags column can be deleted as we won't be using it. Next, we'll add a new relations property which links this categories table with the income and expenses table that we made. And then also add a roll-up column to show how much money we've spent in each category. Now let's head back to our income and expense table to see how this works. First, let's unhide the categories relation column from the expense view. And let's choose groceries as the category for the bought an apple expense. And now let's head back to the categories table. So now we can see that the expense amount for groceries is $2. To visualize this summary better, let's use a gallery view to show this information. So let's make a gallery view called expense by category. Then let's unhide the expense amount property and then only filter to show categories where the expense amount is bigger than zero for a cleaner look. Then for aesthetic sake, I'll just quickly give these categories an icon. Next, we'll create a new full page database to keep track of our savings. We'll delete the tags column as we don't need it, and we'll add a date column to track the starting date, as well as a number column for the saving amount. And I'll just quickly put a couple of examples in here. The last database we'll be making before pulling everything together is for our goals and wish lists. An example of what goes into this table could be monthly savings. For this table, we'll rename the tags column to say type and we'll add in two categories for type. We'll have one type called monthly savings and the second one called one-off purchase. And now we'll add a cover photo for each of our goals. Next, let's add a date column. Now, let's make a link with the savings database so we can track our savings progress for our goals. In our savings table, let's add a new relation to the goals and wish list database. So now we can link our goals to our saving entries like this. Now let's head back to our goals and wish list. We can hide savings because we only need it running in the background and then add a new number column called goal amount. And then add a new roll up column called actual saved which will total up our savings from the other table for each goal. Then we'll add a formula column which calculates our savings progress. This formula here will round the decimal nicely to two places. Doing it this way makes use of the out-of-the-box Notion percentage bars. 
The second way to track progress is nicer in my opinion, but the formula is a bit longer. Basically, it will show your progress in 10% increments in emojis that you can choose. So if you want to do it this way with different emojis, all you need to do is copy this formula and change the emojis in the quotation marks. Next, let's add two more gallery views. The first gallery will show our current monthly savings progress. Here we want to unhide the percentage complete property and filter only for monthly savings in the current month. Next, let's make a second gallery called Wishlist Progress to only show saving progresses for one-off purchase items on our wishlist. Let's finally pull everything together. At the top, I'll add in a little quote to set the scene. Next, we'll add in a little navigation section to pack away our database pages. And we'll also just quickly give these pages cute little money emojis. Now onto the main section. So I want to use a divider for the new section, but the Notion divider is a bit basic, so I uploaded my own divider bar as a picture. The title for my first section is Income and Expense, and I'm just going to quickly format it to make it a bit nicer. We'll make this section into two columns. On the top left, I want to add a section for Reminders. And I'll also add in a cute calculator widget for any quick maths. If you guys like the widget, I'll leave a link to the original widget in the description. On the right, I'll make a toggle called Daily Transactions. This section includes our income and expense table views we made earlier. Let's add in the expense view as well. And we'll just turn off our database titles for both these views so it's a bit neater. And then underneath, we'll add in the Expense by Category Gallery view. I find it so much easier to make the views first and then put everything together at the end like this. Next, let's make a new section called Savings. Here, we'll add our monthly progress gallery view, where we can see our savings progress for the current month. And then on the right, we'll add our savings table view. Then same as before, we'll configure the views to make them look neater. The last section will be our wish list. In here, we'll add in our wish list progress gallery view and configure the view as before to turn off our database titles. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment or subscribe to see more in the future.